Okay, so we're going to do the horizontal mattress stitch. The benefit of the horizontal mattress stitch is that it gives you extra um, suture uh, so that you can bring your edges together with less tension on any given point because tension is what breaks down wounds and what causes uh, wound dehiscence, which is not desirable. So you basically, same technique, you flip your edge up, enter 90 degrees, take a bite, flip your wound up, take an even bite at the same point, same depth, be mindful of the planes that you're using. Don't pull the thread all the way through. Then you want to backload this one. Then you want to backload this, this needle. And you want to, the idea is that you're going to drive through on this plane, then you're going to come down a little bit and drive through on the same plane about a centimeter below. You're going to grab the wound edge, equal depth. You work the wound edge, equal depth. You're going to come out, never grabbing the point of your needle because that will make it dull. So you see the technique is you go in, come out, move down a centimeter, you go in, you come out, and then laying your, your needle driver in the center of your field, you do two loops for the first surgeon's knot, and you see how that brings it nicely together, everts the wound edges, and takes tension off the field. Come back, and you tie your knot. And that is the horizontal mattress stitch. We take a bite for complex wound repair. Take another bite, oh, a little too deep. Take another bite. Grab our needle, not grabbing the tip. Load it backwards so you can take advantage of the natural curvature of the needle. When you twist your wrist as you drive the needle in, not push, but you turn. Mindful of your planes, wound edge aversion, turn, don't grab your tip, and you simply do a tie. And that brings the wound edges nicely together, and this is a much more stable closure. Um, And that's the horizontal mattress.